Hey guys, welcome to this series of videos about Time Cop 1983. Uh, this is going to be a series of videos about uh, the chord progressions, uh, bass lines, and uh, sometimes arm and lean melodies. And I hope the information will be valuable. Um, I want those videos to be really practical so you can really apply all the information uh, in, uh, hopefully in some of your uh, own songs. So here we go. So this is the first clip. So this is the basic voicings. Every chord are in the root position. Uh, so the chord progression is going from one, uh, six, four, and one. I have I have put the Roman numerals uh, here. So this is very simple. Okay, here we go. Okay, as you can hear, it doesn't sound synthwave at all. It's very simple. Uh, and um, what you can hear is that we're in the key of F major. So let me go back to the bass line first. It's uh, talk about the bass line for a moment. Like in most Time Cop song, it's very simple. It's eight notes, uh, very, very basic. Uh, sorry, 16 notes here. As you can see, so there is four notes per beat and uh, you have two bars of F. So this is a one. We are in the key of F. So this is a one. Two bars of F. Two bars then of D. Then two bars of B flat. It's written in A sharp, but it doesn't do flat. Ableton doesn't. Uh, Live 9 doesn't do flat. Doesn't matter. Whatever. Then so two bars of B flat. And then two bars back to the one, two bars F. So you have eight bar chord progression. The bass line is goes in 16 notes. Two bars of one, two bars of six, two bars of four, two bars of one. F major, D minor, B flat major, F major. Very basic, very simple. And that you can see the bass line um, from... Um, uh, it, it's, it's going from the F, which is in the second octave, then the D in the second octave, then the B flat goes to octave one, and then back to F octave two. This is very important to um, to uh, notice because the, all all the chords you're gonna have on top of it, and the voicings are gonna are gonna be um, um, written uh, according to the bass line. This is very important, so everything has its own place. Uh, this is something that uh, you can notice in, in very good songs, that everything has its own place. Uh, Mitch Murder is a great, fantastic uh, writer and uh, arranger when it comes to voicing and uh, with many other, of course, but this is the one that uh, comes to my mind. So, let's talk about the chord. So this is a chord, very basic, F, A, C for the F major, D, F, A, D minor, B flat, D, F for the B flat major, and then back to the ones, same notes as the first that you have, for the first two bars. So this is a basic voicing, nothing special, I'm going to play the chord progression for you once. Another one, D minor. B flat major and back to one. Okay, in order to, to sound very interesting and uh, with, with the bass line and uh, less muddy, because as you can hear, it, it, it was really muddy before, to get it clearer, you have to arrange in closed voicing, what, what is sometimes called closed voicing. So you have uh, the F major, we, we will keep the same voicing in the root position. But then, instead of having the D below, we're going to put the D on top. So it, it will uh, brighten the whole uh, voicing. So you, we will have F, root position, then D minor, F, A, D. So the D is going on top. And then F, B flat, D. 
So we have an inversion here. We have uh, the B flat major uh, with the fifth on the bottom, and then back to the F major. So as you can see, we try to keep every voicing as close as possible. So everything is not uh, everywhere, and all the notes are have their own space in the in the whole spectrum of sound. So now. I'm going to play the clip with the bass line so you can hear uh, the bass line and the, the chord together. Okay, so it's it's not doesn't sound like like time cop yet, but we we're getting here, we're getting there, and um, it's almost done. We're gonna go to the last part and see how we can give those chords, um, put some makeup on it, and getting them really synth wave. So the first thing we're gonna do is instead of having the F major. F A C. We're gonna replace the A, which is the notes number three, the third. We're gonna change it to the second. Here we go. This sounds way more like time cut now. So F G C. Okay. So this is an F sus two chord on the one. This is something that that time cop does a lot. So F G C. Then for the D minor, instead of having D minor, we're gonna have the F A C. Instead of having the D, we're gonna have. So if if I play the root instead of so this is a D minor seventh instead of. D minor, we're gonna have D minor seven. This is uh, a, a little bit um, it, um, a way uh, more uh, dreamy than the regular D minor, as you can hear. So we're gonna have F A C. There's no root. The bass line will take care of it. And then we're gonna go on the B flat major, we're going to do a sus2 chord again. So on the 4, we're going to have a sus2 chord. So we're going to have F, B flat, and C. Instead of F, B flat, D. So F, B flat, C. Sus2 chord. And then back to the 1 with the sus2 chord again. Okay, I'm gonna play the whole progression. F sus2. I'm gonna play the root on this one. D minor 7th. Then B flat sus2. And then F sus2. Okay. And this is. I don't pretend to have the exact voicing you can hear uh, that you can hear on the, on the record, but this is very close, and uh, I'm gonna play the whole thing with the chord and bass line, so you can hear the thing uh, in its entirety. Okay, here we go, guys. So uh, I will do um, 
many songs by Time Cop. This is just the first one. Please leave me some comments uh, to tell me what you what you think about it. If I if uh, I, I'm very open to any um, uh, question and uh, remarks that can help me getting those videos better and better. So uh, leave me some comments. I hope you learned something. And uh, I'll see you next time for uh, more songs uh, of the Synthetic Romance album. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.